All right, this is uh, Brian here from uh, quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show you some uh, interesting, some legacy functionality that has been part of uh, MATLAB for a while. Um, just so that our, those that are fairly new to MATLAB, uh, MATLAB does have the capabilities of um, exporting your MATLAB M files into JAR components or Java components so that other Java applications can um, have access to those uh, resources. So uh, let me give you a little rundown. Um, if you go under the YouTube uh, description you should be able to find the resources of all the links available. I'll give you a brief rundown of them uh, from the mathworks.com uh, site. Um, first of all if you go under your uh, toolbox under your MATLAB folder you'll find a bunch of um, examples and uh, if you go under Java Builder uh, under here and then you go under examples uh, the example that I'm kinda working with which seems to be the easiest uh, is this one called Magic uh, Square Example uh, I do have another folder of um, temporary uh, uh, files and whatnot um, and uh, basically I'll show you how these work uh, as MATLAB uh, Builder JA uses them. So when you go into MATLAB, um, what you'll find is uh, a variety of things that uh, you need to be aware of. Uh, first of all, um, MATLAB's uh, toolkit that does all this Java building is a product called, uh, or toolbox called uh, Builder JA. Um, builds different components including .NET, Windows, installers, and so on and so forth. But we're, like I said, we're going to be focusing on purely Java in case that uh, you might be deploying onto a Linux or a Mac environment. So let me give you a brief uh, rundown of how everything works. Um, so let's say you come on to your come into your um, command line in MATLAB um, and uh, you run one of the example uh, files. In this case I have Java Web var arg demo uh, and then you just uh, CD over to it. Uh, you run this deploy tool which is part of the, J, uh, the Builder JA GUI and from there uh, you need to basically uh, define or tell MATLAB what components of the project that you're wanting to build uh, the Java project with so what you need to do is under the Java package under here is you'll find um, uh, classes and you can just add a class and then add files uh, so let's say you add a file and then you can just add your M file to that class that associates the class with the uh, with the M file. Also, there's the uh, package, um, and it will build out a jar file, um, and uh, that can be defined in here uh, under package this uh, tab. And then once you're uh, you've set everything up, then you just press this button here, which is your build. This can take a while, but this is generally what uh, um, the uh, build looks like it just goes off and builds the, with your Java, your Java compiler, uh, and then it results in copying some files. You want to make sure you see these messages here, uh, which shows a successful uh, build. Um, obviously, before you do this build, you will need to define your Java uh, and your Java compiler on your uh, operating systems environment. I'm sure you know how to do that. If not, obviously you have to figure that out on your own um, that's not part of this uh, video uh, so if it's Windows Linux or whatever um, you'll need to figure that out before you proceed with a building so let's say you got to a point where you do a build that's fairly successful and you see these messages as I said before uh, sometimes if the build fails one of the big reasons is because it can't find the uh, Java compiler or the Java uh, JDK uh, which has not been defined on the uh, operating system path. Um, so that's probably one good area to look at if you do see failures. Um, so let's say you've got a successful build. What does the components look like after um, the build is completed? Basically um, 
what you'll find is uh, you will get a new um, folder uh, based upon your project name and in there you will find a variety of uh, source files which will also include your project jar file uh, you'll get your <coughs> a variety of HTML which will describe all the different methods that are part of the package from your Java build uh, also you'll get um, a variety of uh, classes that are part of the MATLAB compiler runtime as well as your own um, converted uh, Java uh, file which is originally from your M file from within MATLAB. I know that sounds kind of confusing um, but uh, that's where everything resides once the, the, uh, the uh, MATLAB uh, build is, is, is completed. And then you also do get a, uh, a readme file. So essentially um, that's where everything from within MATLAB stops. And uh, this is where um, the confusion kind of sets in. Well, how do you use this uh, for other uh, Java applications? So let me show you that. Uh, I'm going to move into my um, into my uh, Eclipse and uh, one thing uh, you should be aware of with 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 Eclipse is um, there's two different versions of Eclipse there's the standard uh, Java uh, um, version of Eclipse as well as there's the Java uh, the Eclipse EE version um, if you are planning to deploy onto the web, um, you will probably need the uh, EE version uh, so that you can uh, deploy uh, new projects uh, where they will include any of the container jar files that you need from something like a Tomcat or a JBoss, whatever you're going to deploy into. So you need to be aware of that. Um, but you can just use the plain vanilla uh, Eclipse, um, just the, the specific one for Java as opposed to the uh, Java EE edition of uh, Eclipse. So let me uh, introduce you to the project of um, my Eclipse. So as I'm in Eclipse, uh, what I have here is I, I define a new, a new project basically. Uh, and you can name it whatever you like, um, blah, blah, blah. And then um, obviously you include your JRE, uh, your Java runtime environment, uh, and so on and so forth. So we have a test project here. Um, and you, c you need to define a new uh, class. So you could call it, uh, I don't know, test. Um, it can get confusing where you should include uh, obviously a package as you define new classes. Um, in this case, which is part of the videos in one of the resources for MathWorks, it says that you don't need to do that. So I did it exactly as that. It seems to work, but you can also define, um, like I said, a package, no problem. Uh, so just finish her up. And um, I'm going to go into the my existing uh, project. So um, you would define a new class file um, which would look something like uh, this and uh, essentially um, this is all defined in your um, in your uh, in that MathWorks video that I provide but it kinda goes kinda it does go kinda fast so I'll try to give you a brief rundown of how everything works um, in this case uh, for the video you need obviously a main uh, method <coughs> then you define your um, uh, project has to have obviously the uh, external j uh, your jar files which will reside on your build path so if you come under your your um, project do a right click properties and then look under um, your java build path you'll find your libraries um, and what you need to do is you need to define um, two or need to add two external um, jar files. One is the stock uh, Java Builder jar file, which can be found under your toolbox Java Builder jar. 
residing there and then you have to define the jar file that your um, that that build process from within MATLAB will create so in this case I've, I've got a new uh, magic square jar file um, which can be found under magic square magic demo and then the uh, source file and again um, if that's kind of confusing I'll try to go back to um, where that is uh, yeah so as I said this is the um, magic square example that I built um, if you remember I did this way back when under the uh, MATLAB deploy tool build process and uh, created this new magic square um, folder and under your distrib you will find it will create this magic square jar file so that jar file needs to be on the uh, Eclipse projects um, uh, build path and there it is all right so those are certain things that you need to be aware of to include in your project um, and then you have your source code so um, you have to do your imports um, as defined here um, as well as the stock uh, import for the MathWorks Java Builder uh, as well as um, define instantiate all your um, objects um, specifically your magic object um, and you have to include it in a try catch block because it will throw exceptions uh, you instantiate um, and then you can uh, create a new um, uh, object um, which you can call the original make square um, math or a MATLAB um, M file which again it was uh, this guy let me just uh, pull her up uh, and again this is where the file that we started with um, this one right here uh, which was part of the example uh, for the J builder or sorry the builder J A tool toolbox uh, okay so um, you can define a result uh, and then you can print out the uh, result um, but this is where it gets kind of wonky how MathWorks sets it up so let's say you define a math uh, your input variable you define a five you have to instantiate and create a new object we call in defined here using this uh, mw numeric array method uh, and uh, there's also the same idea as well as for output uh, for uh, uh, resulting um, objects as well and uh, <coughs> this is where they get um, created uh, and then you can define your um, new out object and then just cast it from the resulting <laughs> object I know it's kind of wonky that's why a lot of people are not fans of Java um, but anyhow uh, that's how MathWorks is set it up and then uh, you do a try catch and then eventually you do want to dispose of all the uh, objects in a clean way and ob obviously you have to um, dispose of your object as well um, that's from the M file as well alright so hopefully I'll help you out um, you should be able to run it uh, successfully uh, as it will hopefully run here uh, and everything's all good um, that's a general rundown. It, it is kind of hairy. Um, I don't know what to say, but that's how MATLAB and Java work together. Um, there are some other limitations um, with it, um, and it's a fairly legacy type of uh, type of uh, architecture, I guess you could call it. And um, there are ways where you can build WAR files so you can deploy these uh, Java Eclipse projects into something like a Tomcat or a JBoss so you can do it um, but it's 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 hairy it's all I can leave it at I'll talk to you later